some tips about a new creative dancing step. In fact, it is a mix between a cross step and a body spin. The dancer call this step a cross spin, so we'll call it in the same way. Enough talking, let's break down this movement into only, let me guess, four steps! First step, I'll explain the tip back side, but you can totally make a try front side. Whatever the direction, the tip is kind of the same. Start with a cross step. When your feet are crossed, try to put your back foot, which is originally the front foot, in the middle of the board to keep your body as stable as possible. When you feel stable, and cross your foot and do a circle with it. The more you do a wide circle, the more it will be steezy. Do not forget to put your arms up to make your body well stable. If you feel a struggle by crossing your feet, try to do it on the board upside down. Maybe you don't bend your knees enough. You'll see, the more you bend your knees, the easiest it will be, because you let enough space to cross. Second step, when your circle move is done, replace your foot on the board in front of the other foot. Now, this is time to play with your toes. The spin comes from the toes and not the heels, and your front foot leads the move. You start with the front foot and right after the back foot. Bring back your arms close to each other and try to take help from your shoulders. Third step, as I said, the spin starts with your front foot. What I usually do to make it easier is I put my back foot off the board, just half a second to uncross. During that time, you need to be straight. Same as the pirouette, the more you are straight during the spin, the more you'll be safe. To finish the rotation, play with your toes and change from your switch position to the cross step position without putting your feet off the board. This is almost a lady season ending. To make it great, you can even reach the edge of the board to make a carve. Fourth step, to finish, jump above the board and uncross your feet at the same time. Bring back your shoulders and be ready to continue your line. You might notice but I always do a truck stand right after. For me, these both movements work well together, but you can totally find your ending movement after this step. So, if you want to learn the truck stand to combine the both moves, I already did a video about this trick. You can find it on my YouTube channel. And that's all for today. So, I hope you enjoyed trying this move. And as I told you at the beginning of the video, you can totally make a try in front side, just the opposite direction. The possibilities are unlimited and be creative as much as possible. Longboarding is all about that. I wish you a great experience with good riding vibes and see you for the next tutorial in only... You know the deal, right? Bye! Si vous voulez, je peux vous prendre en photo. Hein. Euh, niveau plus de reproche. Euh...